report. Before they became household names, their talents were honed here. The Brit School, Britain's answer to the American music school fame. It's where dreams came alive and Grammy award winners nurtured. I suppose more than anything I just want to give back. You know, it really, really helped me out. It was a free school um, and uh, I had some amazing times here and it really set me up uh, great for my career. It became the first free state-funded performing arts school in 1991 with the help of Sir Richard Branson, Sir George Martin and the British Record Industry Trust. Today, former students have returned to inspire the next generation with their own success. I just felt instantly like I was in a place where I belonged because it was full of kids from all over the country that were so talented but didn't have the money to go to a specialist school and because of that I think we were a quite a ambitious hungry crowd. Coming through these doors has opened opportunities for thousands of students but like many state schools across the country there are funding challenges ahead for the Brit School. All political parties do not appreciate the arts and their importance. The amount of income that the arts generate for this country and what gets given back in return is peanuts. The government are quite willing to praise success in theatre and everything else, but they're not willing to support it. A vision that started 25 years ago and new students hoping they can keep the dream alive. Colleen Harris, BBC News, Brit School.